to continue with more events happening this week for the Come See Me Festival. We've got two more team leaders joining us this morning. We've got Jim Armour and Ross Lawson, and they are here because they are the team leaders for the Anything but butt sales and the barbecue cook-off sales. And good morning to you both. Thank good morning. You. Talk Thank about you. a name. Yeah. Now, who who came up with that title? <laughs> Jimbo, was it you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, I guess I'm the patter for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Own it and run with it. We'll toot your horn. There you go. So, Jim, take us out to Friday, April the 19th. Anything but butt sales. What do we need to know about that and what... What is the deal with this? Okay, that, our Anything Butts runs in conjunction with Moonlight Jazz. And um, what we do, we have we have X number of barbecue teams show up from all over the state, some from North Carolina. And they, you know, they cook all night on Friday night. But on Friday, we have our Anything Butts, which they have to cook something that does not contain barbecue. <laughs> so then, then we'll sell it. We'll sell tickets. Uh, dollar a piece to the to the public, and then the public will come in and buy tastes. I mean, it's a little portion of their different things. Then they'll vote by the however number of tickets they get. Mm. That that gives you the the best, you know, the one that is most liked by everybody. So then we give awards and stuff for that. So looking back last year, what was the most popular item that was? Favorite. I think one of the usually one of the biggest things is shrimp and grits. Mm-hmm. We've had um, Brunswick stews. Brunswick stews is always mm. a big hit. We have different people make different things. I mean, it's unbelievable what people come up with. So the requirement is for these teams, they can cook whatever they want. It just can't be barbecue. Right. Okay. Then these same teams stick around, and then they do the barbecue cook-off. Right. Okay. And we we provide each team with six Boston butts. And um, and then they cook all night, basically. They're out there, and we do this at Winthrop, and um, they cook all night. And then the next morning, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, judges from the South Carolina Barbecue Association come in. They judge each each team, and then they decide who's the best Best in show, basically. Who's got the best butt? <laughs> Who's got the best butt? You can't Not, leave me. You can't let me have jokes like that. You can't do that around me. I Ross, this is a safe space. You yeah. can you can make jokes like that as but, long as they're PG. We can't we can't swear yeah. to the PG thirteen. Air. Those are when anything yeah. flies. So, uh, uh, Ross, where do you get? So these teams have to sign up ahead of time. Yes, correct? yes. We have an open registration that usually closes about April. The first week of April usually right. closes. And how many teams signed right up? Right now we have 15 teams signed up at the moment. So. And these teams know that they have to cook something other than barbecue, and then they have to turn around and cook something right. with barbecue. Yep. Right. And then to your point, Jim, to have the uh, authority of the South Carolina Barbecue Association <laughs> come right. into town, and I've been a judge when they have been the official judge, Right. that is intense – Hardcore, right. and for these folks, this is a sport like the Masters, like the Super Bowl, like baseball, like right. the World Series. I mean, it, it is. really is. Yeah, they they take they take pride in their work, and uh, it's unbelievable because you know we've had we've had twenty teams before, and they have what they call the grazing table, and this is when they bring in you know people bring in their samples. And so, they'll taste it's a place just where little, a guy like me shines at the grazing <laughs> table, you know. They they, they, they they bring in little samples and they'll taste it, but they leave what they got left they put on the grazing table. And that's when we take that's when we get involved. Oh, I don't and blame we, you. But anyway, each butt, each each barbecue tastes different. Mm-hmm. It's really weird because, you know, it won't even have sauce on it. Some of it won't, you know, most of it don't have sauce. But, you know, it's, they cook some might cook with apple, some might cook mm-hmm. with cherry. You know, so it could, it, it, it it's very it's, distinct flavors. Yeah. Very interesting how good. you can have that many people making making food and it all tastes that different. Right. It's all the same food. But we had one year, one year, a um, guy, it's a new team, they had never done it before. They cooked with cedar. Cedar? It was terrible. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Terrible. Did it have like a smoky taste to it? It had a cedar taste. <laughs> <laughs> So they just all, so that didn't last. That didn't go with with the judges. That didn't that didn't make the grazing table. That's the trash can. The trash can. That made the trash can. Ross, you brought up brought up a good point. It is amazing how they can how 
it, they start with the same Boston butt, right? Mm-hmm. So they start on the same playing, playing field. field, right? And then it's their interpretation of what they can do That's with it, correct. and it's pretty remarkable. Like Jim said, Cedar didn't make the <laughs> didn't no, make Cedar the cut. Cedar wasn't going to make the cut. What what have been some popular ones? Like Apple, I think would be really yeah, great. Apple's good. Cherry. What was Walmart. the cherry? A you know, it's, I, it's some pecan. Yeah. People use or pecan. What's your yeah. tomato? Tomato. <laughs> tomato. That's right. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's um, it's pretty good. I usually I'm going to go for the vinegar based. Mm. It I don't know what it is. It just adds more flavor, juiciness to it. But I agree. I will say <laughs> a little mix of the Carolina Gold, some sweet barbecue. Oh, look at her. Wait, you can hey, join I'm us. Judge. Add her to the uh, barbecue authority team. <laughs> I'll just be at the end of that tasting table. You know, well, I would, I'm going to take this opportunity to invite both of you to come out on Friday. Hey. Be there at about um, 6 o'clock. 6 okay. o'clock. And y'all can judge the anything but. You've done it yeah, before. Yeah, I have done it before. Oh, it's dangerous. so much fun. So, you know, oh, my goodness. And you know where it's at. We'll I get Emily it. to make mm-hmm. them a couple lanyards and uh, there we get go. squared we'll, away. We'll, 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 we'll treat you right. We'll treat you right. Even more official. <laughs> we should also say, Jim and Ross, you all make this a family affair, right? I mean, Jim, you're the uncle and... Ross, you're the nephew. He's he's been monk for 38 and a half years now. So. <laughs> he's been other people's uncle longer, but mine 38 and a half years. Uh, but that's what's great about come see me, right? Yeah. I mean, you're, that's you're right. for, in your case, you're making this a family affair, right? Yeah, we don't like each other but once a year, and that's yeah. And my daughter will be out. She'll be out Friday night selling drinks for us so. oh, and my fantastic. my seven and a half month pregnant wife will be selling yeah. drinks with her so okay. coke, coke trailer is going to be a little snug this year for her but uh i know who the designated heart. driver will be that <laughs> night uh, yeah. right. bless uh, well happy congratulations ross yeah. that's, thank you that's job well done thank you thank you she's pretty excited about it so yeah i bet so. <laughs> she'll be really excited in a couple more weeks there you go yeah. yes, uh, uh, for sure and i also want to brag on jim jim's uh, was has been so involved in our community since uh, being involved with what rock hill prt yeah he helped right. us uh he's help, he always helps us uh but he helped us this year with the great easter egg classic helping to stuff the easter eggs and then you took part yesterday in the golf tournament That's the come correct. see me golf tournament how did you do yeah well, our team was 10 under which we got an invitation. That. We want an invitation back next year. Look at that. <laughs> That's really Is that good. how that works? Like, no, oh, okay. we just, we just, they said, you know, we didn't win. So they said, y'all can come back and play. Next year. <laughs> Self-invited. <laughs> what would have been, what was the prize? Do they have any things, cooler things to take home? Yeah, they, um, the raffle they, yesterday. Yeah, they had raffles. They raffled off a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. and some nice stuff. And uh, I think the winners got, you know, gift certificates. I don't know how much it was, mm-hmm. but. Hmm. I mean, it was, it was, it was nice. It was a, uh, uh, Drew Jackson did a great job. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah. Again, everyone's weather. God has been in our favor. We got through the Come See Me parade, barely. Mm-hmm. You guys look like good weather. The golf yesterday. So let's just keep the weather gods in our favor. Well, check out the Anything But Butt Sales Friday, April the 19th, starting at 630 until it's sold out. Mm-hmm. Then stick around on Saturday, April the 20th there at the tailgate party for the barbecue cook-off. It begins at 3 o'clock, right around the time the tailgate begins, and it will be going on until it's sold out. It I be. would like to recognize our sponsors if I could. Okay, real quick. All right, real quick. Uh, Faircloth Law Firm, Frost Eccles Law Firm, Southern Builders, Tar Hill, Construction, construction supply. supply and York County natural gas. Okay, great. People. You know he beat me to it. I mentioned that in the lobby. He yeah, beat me to it. I've forgotten. But it's a duo <laughs> over here, family adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim Arbor and Ross Lawson again, just some of the team leaders for this year's Come See Me Festival. And stay tuned for more Come See Me Festival coverage right here on WRHI FM one hundred point one and AM thirteen forty, the official voice of Come See Me for sixty years. <laughs>